hello guys i hope all of you will be fine so today we are going to solve question 4.34 and 4.35 and these questions are again relevant with the questions which we have previously solved and those are the questions related to variance and standard deviation okay so previously i have told you that how to find them out but now in this question what we are going to use is the theorem 4.2 so what is basically the theorem 4.2 let me see that theorem 4.2 okay so let us look at this one and what is this this is theorem 4.2 the variance of a random variable x can be found out by this lambda square is equal to e x square minus mu square okay so in these two questions we are going to employ this formula so let us first go to the question 4.34 so let x be a random variable with the following probability distribution which is given here all the values of the random variable are given and the corresponding probability density function is also given we have to find the standard deviation of x as we have previously seen this can also be found out by first finding out the that is what that would be this one and then x minus mu which is the expected value square and then f of x this can also be found out by using this one and then when you will find out the uh, variance of it the standard deviation can be very easily found out by this one as well okay but it would be very easy and feasible to use this formula as well but if in question it is not given that which formula to use you are free to use any one of them either you can use this one or this one as well it is up to you okay here you will also find this variance you will have to find the standard deviation and this would be what this would be what you wanted to find out okay so here we have this one so now uh, let me have here this one and from it for First of all let me find out the mu so from this mu would be what it would be x i f of x i okay so what are the values of x so this is x1 this is x2 this is x3 this is f of x1 this is fx f of x2 this is f of x3 so it will be x1 f of x1 plus x2 f of x2 plus x3 f of x3 let me put their value so x1 is minus 2 multiplied by what 0 0.3 okay plus x2 is 3 while f of x2 is 0 0.2 okay and x of 3 is 5 multiplied by 0 0.5 okay so uh, it would be minus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.6 and it will be 2.5 so these two will cancel out and here the value of mu would be what it would be 2.5 okay so this is what the expected value is okay now in order to find the um, variance by using this formula what we have to find out we have to find out e x square as well because this one is what this is e of x so now we want to find out e of x square as well and it would be what it will be x i square and f of x i okay let me put these values here as well so it will be x 1 square f of x 1 plus x 2 square f of x 2 plus x 3 square f of x 3 okay now let me put these values so x 1 is minus 2 so minus 2 square f of x 1 is 0 0.3 okay this is x 2 x 2 is 3 so 3 square and here 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.2 and x3 square which is 5 square multiplied by 0 0.5 okay so calculating it what we will get here the answer of it would be 15.5 okay so this is what 15.5 now in order to use this formula this is sigma square we have to use e of x square which is here this is the value of e x square so 15.5 minus mu uh, square so mu square it would be here what it would be mu, mu square would be 2.5 square so here 
5 square okay so on the basis of it when we will find it out the answer of it will be what it will be 9.25 and that is what that is the variance of what we wanted to find out okay so this is the variance now in order to find the standard deviation out of it what we can use standard deviation is this and from it in order to find it out we have to take the square root of the variance and it would be what by taking the square root of 9.25 it will be what it will be 3.04 and that is what that is the standard deviation what we wanted to find out okay so that is the standard deviation or the answer of this is what this is this and 3.04 okay so that is what that is the solution of question 4.34 similarly if you want to find out the variance for the question 4.35 what you can do first of all you can employ this formula by for finding out the expected value and this would be my multiplying these values together okay these will be multiplied together and then added will be added together you will get what you will get the expected value after it what you will employ here in order to find the expected value uh, of x square you will square this one and then multiply it with this one like it will be 2 square multiplied by 0 0.013 square 0 0.254 square 0 0.04 as we have done here so once you will find all these values you will have to employ this formula because in that case as well you will have the mu and e of x square as well so um, you have to practice this question as well by yourself because these two are very uh, closely relevant with each other so uh, try it and if you have any question you can ask me uh, in the comment box of this question as well so that's it for today and i will see you with some more interesting stuff like this one in our upcoming video see you soon